the spirit of Christmas found a way in a manger is not that far away after all. If you're asking me why, well, it's because it could be spotted all over Tarlac. Laila Pangilinan takes us around the province to show us its pride in Belen making. The spirit of Christmas is very much alive in the province of Tarlac. Dubbed as the Belen capital of the country, the province boasts of its own brand of spectacle for the holiday season with these giant Belens. But beyond these eye-popping dioramas, what's more interesting are the materials used by the creative Tarlaqueños. From upcycle to recycle, even to the most junked-up motorcycle, these are only a few of the materials that you will be seeing at this giant Belen here in Moncada, Tarla. An old door, computer monitors, basketball rings. It's true what they say that other people's trash are someone else's treasure. Ginamit namin yung mga garbage, no? Kasi uh, in Moncada, we are an advocate of uh, you know, uh, recycling, no? So, naisip namin, gamitin din dito. And for 11 years, the Belenismo has taken center stage in Tarlac to welcome the Yuletide in the happiest time of the year. Every year it gets better. New entries participate, the spirit comes alive, and Belenismo is the first reminder of Christmas in the Philippines. But it isn't just pride that's on the line. The people of Tarlac are extra motivated to whip out their most creative take on the nativity scene. The artisans of the most beautiful Belen will not only get a cash prize, but they'll have the chance to shake the president's hand as he is scheduled to award the big winner on the 1st of December. Needless to say, with these prizes at stake, winning doesn't come easy. The simple Belen in Barangay Pura boasts of real water lilies that thrive in a ditch. In Gerona, the residents' love for the environment is reflected in their masterpiece. Aside from the baby Jesus as the centerpiece, fresh vegetables and real plants also surround the giant Belen. 